with Lovely Designs here and um, today I'll just be coming at you with a tutorial on um, how to make something uh, kind of melt in uh, RealFlow. So it's basically just going to consist of uh, some scripts that are free and I'll include them in the description. You can download them so you'll be able to do this and uh, I'll, be, I'll just be using a, um, an object which I'm going to import. If you don't know how to import then I suggest watching my other video or just looking it up. Um, in my other video, it explains it perfectly well, uh, but yeah. So we go to my desktop, just hit this. This is a logo of another guy on YouTube, and I just really like it. It, it looks really simple. Um, kind of looks like it has wings or, or whatever, but it, it's generally really nice. Now, if we go to our emitters, which is this, uh, which is these three circles here, and we just go to fill object, then you can change uh, whatever you um, or whatever settings you want. I'm just going to use uh, 15 as the resolution. Put the density onto 1200. Change the internal pressure to six. Uh, actually, I might use two for that. And then the viscosity one. Put the surface tension onto maybe five. So I might use two. And then put the interpolation on local. Now that's all you need. Um, uh, you you can actually uh, like there's all these different uh, pre setups. So there's gas uh, elastics, which is you can use that if you want to have maybe trampoline effect or or um or uh, it's a pillow or what's well, it's like tissue paper. Uh, but yeah, that it's really nice. So but for this we're going to be using t uh, liquid. So just go to your object down here. So like extrude nerves, hit OK, then hit fill volume. Now, if we just click on this and change it to inactive, and then hit 8 on our keyboard, we'll just get all these particles filling this object. Now, if we go to our demons, which is basically just emitters, um, I don't know why they call it that. Uh, obviously, I guess they just wanted to. Um, it's basically like uh, effectors in Cinema 4D, um, just maybe a fancy term for, uh, for, for, for that, I guess, if you want it to sound professional or or whatever the whatever you want to do um, but yeah so we'll just start off with gravity uh, we'll change the gravity to 8.5 uh, which is a bit less than um, normal but I, I mean it really doesn't bother me it looks nice uh, now also uh, maybe uh, actually um, no, we, we won't actually put any more in. So now we'll do the scripting for this. So if we just go to, uh, yeah, so if we go to demons, then just hit scripted. Now, find the script here. So in the new version of RealFlow, the file and stuff will be up here. Now, I really don't know any um, uh, thing about this uh, scripting. I think it's Pyth Python scripting, something like that. Um, it, it, I mean, this script actually looks pretty easy uh, to kind of figure out, but I mean, uh, it, it, it's obviously complicated. So this, um, I'll put this up for free. I think this has been circulating actually. Um, Project 4D has a tutorial on it. Um, he's, uh, he's, he's not. I like him. Um, but yeah, so it is pretty easy. Um, but I mean, if you didn't know what you were doing, you wouldn't be able to make that. So I'll just hit OK. Then rename your uh, rename this to maybe, uh, well, yeah, you have to use melt, but in the script, if you change this to, say I change that to, like, uh, Lopu, oh, so I change that to Lopu, then I change this to Lopu, it'll affect that as well, so that's, I, that, that's probably the most amount of scripting that I know, um, yeah, so that's basically all. Now, uh, that's I think everything's done. Just hit reset. Sometimes it was this script, um, RealFlow actually crashes. Uh, you, so you have to make sure that you hit reset. Otherwise, you might run into a few uh, bumps and, and stuff. So we'll just make a plane for these particles to fall on. Uh, change the particle friction to 0 0.015. And then change the roughness. To 0.9 and the bounce to 0.15. Now I like those settings. I actually use them uh, on on some other things that I do, um, but uh, yeah. 
So I changed this also to a thousand. I only imported a 90 frame uh, logo, but it's pretty easy to fix. So just hit simulate. Or alrighty, so don't even don't even know that. I'll change this back to melt because uh, obviously that didn't work too well. So I'm not I'm not very uh yeah, so I don't I don't even know anything. So you'll see that this just kind of melts, lands on the plane. And yeah, that looks really nice. So I'll actually I'll get the uh, the demons out of your way. Just move this. Oh. Oh. And then we can zoom in again. And then simulate this. And you'll see that everything kind of melts or, or just kind of falls to the ground and then if you wanted to reverse this or, or put a um put an effector uh, uh, sorry a um a uh, uh, an attractor and then it could kind of come up and then you could swirl around and um uh, i'm using my fingers on my screen uh but you could just swirl around and then bring it to the logo um on right now actually these, these particles kind of look like little ants uh, but yeah, so we'll just bring that up here, and now we can do a bit of the uh, meshing. So if we just go to mesh, let's go to particle mesh standard, and then it'll automatically add the melt uh, emitter because that's the only one on there, and it just like, it knows that. So if you go to filters, just uh, hit yes on the filter, and then change the relaxation to 0.05. Then uh, hit O on your. Oh, actually, check, we'll keep it A at the moment. And then if we change the color, we just change it. Uh, yeah, so we just change it to that. And then just hit reset. Then hit simulate. And you'll see this just kind of melt. And it's and it's really nice. And it looks like it's all gloopy and and kind of like it's well, like it's actually melting. And then it'll come down and it'll do all the stuff. And yeah. Yeah, so that looks pretty nice. So I'll just click out of that. Then go back to here. Whoa. Whoa. Hit. Oh, yeah. So we'll hit 9. Whoa. Zero. So yeah, actually, I made this mistake before. If you hit 9, it'll be rough, and I thought there was something wrong with my particle mesh uh, rend uh, settings, so just make sure you have 0 on, and then that'll look smooth. So that just kind of gloops down there, and that'll that'll bring out. So we go to the start, hit play, that just kind of melts, comes down, and yeah. So I mean that's a pretty basic tutorial. Um, I'll have the script up for download in the in the description. So just look for that, and uh, yeah, just uh, subscribe, favorite, do whatever you want. Um, I'm actually a bit tired, so I don't know if I've missed anything in this tutorial. Uh, I haven't had any ideas. If you want to know anything, I'm I'm like I'm good with real flow and Cinema 4D, but I don't uh, it kind of. Uh, I, I don't know what you guys don't know so I mean if there is something like if there's a project maybe that you um that you want that you've wanted to do but you don't know like uh, say say there's something you need help with just tell me I'll make a tutorial just for you because I only have I think 20 subscribers so I mean uh, it really doesn't bother me what I put out and the quality I do want to keep it high but I am at uni like I said so I can only put out maybe one or two videos a week uh, but yeah so just yeah, like, favorite, subscribe. Try and get me out there. I'm not a retard who just makes horrible, shitty uh, animations. This one actually at the moment looks pretty bad, uh, but I I'm working on my own intro, which I'm trying to base off Onu Centric, who is an amazing motion designer, and I really want to be like him. But 
I mean, he's he's really just fabulous. And I'll put some tutorials on uh, on attractors and stuff, and how you can kind of make a nice effect, how you could make it suck into a ball, um, uh, some morphing stuff, which is actually really easy. It's kind of like an inbuilt script, uh, but yeah. So come at you guys later, and uh, just enjoy my channel. Um, I'm getting a background soon, so that should be nice. Um, see all you guys later.